Okay, I want to show you what you need to do. Set your stitch length. Now this is on a Singer Heavy Duty. And if your machine's different, it may be slightly different, but most of these mechanical machines are all the same. So I had to turn it on the bottom for you to see this, but there's a hole right here in the machine to get a hold of the screw. You push it down. And if the stitch needs to be lengthened, you turn it to the left. So left, so remember left Lucy. And then if it's too uh, long, you turn it to the right to make it shorter. So just take this and if it's real short, turn it about a full turn and then test. And what I do, and I can show you on a piece of paper, what I did okay on this machine the first test was this short like these holes right here and then once I got it fixed to the length I had it set on four so I kept loosening it until I got this length right here and that's the perfect length for four millimeters between each stitch so just use a piece of paper it makes it easy to measure and uh, do a few stitches. I do about four at a time, four to five, and then I get my ruler on it like this. And then you can kind of measure the length of the stitch using the ruler. So anyway, uh, go ahead and do that and give it a try and let me know if it works. But that's the screw right there that you want to loosen and tighten. And it's got a, a lock nut or lock screw on it to lock it down um, once you get it to the length you need. So you may want to take a, a wrench and tighten this up just a little bit to make sure it stays in place. But usually it'll stay. So just try to loosen it a little bit and see if that adjusts your stitch length for you. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. Let me know. Thanks.